Meantime, the National Transportation Safety Board is in Lake Placid investigating a fatal plane crash that killed two people over the weekend. NBC 5's Benny Nazai joins us now live from Lake Placid with the very latest. Benny? Yeah, Brian and Liz, NTSB held a press conference this afternoon announcing a formal investigation into the plane crash that killed former New England Patriot Russ Francis and accomplished military pilot Richard McSpaden Jr. Now, what we know now is that officials explained that the two airplanes were involved, but one being a photo aircraft taking pictures of the aircraft the two men were in. The two planes were about 1,000 feet apart before officials say the 177 Cardinal planes engine lost power and the pilot tried to land but missed the runway and ultimately fell uh, falling 30 feet into a ravine. Now, NTSB investigator Todd Gunther says they will be investigating various issues into the crash, including the plane structure, systems, and whether or not weather played a factor. That includes things such as the fuel system on the aircraft, the flight control system on the aircraft, vacuum system, lubrication system, and electronic systems on the airplane. At the same time, specialists in Washington, D.C. at our headquarters are currently looking at the weather conditions to see if they may have paid a, played a part in the accident. Preliminary results of the crash should be ready in about seven to, seven to 10 days, but a full investigation won't be completed for another 18 months. And Brian and Liz, at the same time, at this time, all aircraft at the airport is grounded, but there is no set time for when it will resume. Live in Lake Placid, Benny Nazai, NBC5 News.